All right, hello everyone. Welcome to Advent of Code 2022. This is my first time streaming this year because I have been sick. And, uh, today is the first day that I felt uh, good enough that my th and my throat <laughs> would let me uh, do the stream without hating my life. So we'll see how this goes. We're about eight and a half minutes out. Uh, so let's get the stuff going here. Um, I am using Go this year rather than Python. This has significantly um, hurt my scores. Uh, let's see. Um, I am, here's my rankings. I haven't cracked top 1000 yet, so not great. A um, couple other workflow changes. Obviously, the biggest one being the, the language itself. Um, let me zoom this in, I guess. Maybe just shrink that down. Maybe I want the... I'm trying to decide where I want the test file. Maybe I want to open it up here. Um, um, Do that. Leave, leave the bottom portion all open for output. And so <clears throat> I solved obviously the first three days in Go, and then I, I went back before, um, you know, before December, before Advent of Code started. I went back and actually uh, solved seven or so problems from last year just to get a feel for go get my testing infrastructure up and going speaking of which i should open up the test file so i'm using go test for um you know my, my test suite basically i'm looking for uh like expected um like my test case i'll enter it in over here and then uh, edit this expected number so that I can determine if my test case is passing before going on to the actual output. So that's the plan. <clears throat> and yeah, we're six minutes out now. The last couple days I've I've gotten bitten by not really knowing some of the standard libraries of Go very well. I use Go pretty extensively at work, but that's kind of a different beast because, you know, at, at work, the the thing is, it's it's very like, it's very uh, production, production code, right? Like. I don't, I haven't ever ha had to like sort a list. So like on day, I don't know, one or two, <clears throat> I spent a while trying to figure out how to use a sorting library. <clears throat> um, I was trying to sort int 64s rather than in, uh, plain old ints and ints are like way easier because there's a sort dot ints thing. Um, but there's no no corresponding function for uh, N64s, stuff like that, you know. Um, so, oh, the other change since last year, I am now just using a Tmux terminal here. I'm still using i i3 for um, my desktop environment, but I do all of my dev these days in this uh, remote session. Um, the nice thing about the Tmux Tmux terminal is that it's permanent. I can leave it running even when my computer's off, and I can switch between my laptop and desktop really easily because I just connect to the Tmux session and continue. Uh, which is kind of nice. You know, a lot of times I'll I'll be I'll want to work right up to a a certain point and then. Um, just to close my laptop and then I, I would often do that and then have to go open up my laptop, commit my code, push it so I could 
resume on my desktop, but I don't have to do that anymore, which is kind of nice. All right, so I'm going to take a short break to get some water because my throat is still a little bit iffy. Um, so I don't want to don't want to die. Um, and then we'll get going. So let me figure out how to use this again. Do, do, do. And we're back. Okay. Let me just do a final audio check. Yep, seems good. Uh, I am technically on the Minds leaderboard again this year. It's not going great. And I'm sort of taking this year as a, as a building year. It's the first time I'm using Go, so I'm not concerned too much about winning. As you can see, pretty, pretty poor performance. Um, yeah, I don't know this guy. This this is a freshman, sophomore, maybe junior, grad, grad, sophomore, sophomore. So yeah, I'm not doing so hot, but uh, we'll we'll be fine and uh, learn some go on the way, and maybe next year I'll be even faster. So like a lot of. <laughs> I think most everybody above me, or a good majority of the people above me, are using Python. Um, Sam's using Rust because he's crazy, but uh, he also has his test infrastructure down a little bit better than I do. So, you know, ups and downs. Uh, let's see, who else is there? Yeah, I'm also on a leaderboard for work. which I'm losing, just me and, and one other guy. Um, I work at a small company, so. Okay, uh, let's get ready. So we have the input ready here. I'm, <clears throat> I'm guessing today is gonna be a little bit longer. Well, I don't know. This may not be actually that hard of a day, but I do think I will probably end up having to use the test case. Um, so we'll, we'll see. All right, 16 seconds, 15, that's 11. Two, one, and zero. Oh, and my light turned off. Let's turn that back on. Okay, this is gonna be kind of a little bit annoying to parse, I think. So what are these things? Okay. Fully contains. Okay, yeah, this is definitely going to need the the full test treatment. Um, two, and this is the example. Uh, okay, so first to parsing. 
I have a utility function, live.allints. Yeah, let's use this little line. Um, um, and then struct for each section. Oh. I should turn off copilot. <laughs> oh, it, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'll, 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 I'll use it for that. I know some people are using it for the entire, using GPT for this entire thing. Okay. So for D dot pairs for, uh, Oh my gosh, I'm typing Python. These are always in order, right? Okay, yeah. Not bad. Um, I'm a bit confused. Let me reread this after I put this in. See. First two pairs don't overlap with the main and four pair. Right? Five to seven overlaps in a. S oh, they want to. So you want, we want to know. Where, okay, yeah. I see. Um, uh, if s dot contains. Oh wait, no, if s dot start, uh, okay, min, min 
of f dot start other dot start is and and Uh, okay, so if s t if the start is less than or equal to n return e minus st return zero. Uh, okay, so then we just go through the pairs ever again, and we want to now ants plus equals it's just the number of overlapping assignment. Four, five, six, seven, three. Number of pairs that overlap at all. Five and seven, five to seven overlap, so it's seven and nine. How many, how many assignment pairs do the, in how many assignment pairs do the ranges overlap? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, uh, if um, s dot dot s one dot enter card p dot s two is greater than zero nine seventy nine. Okay, this was not good. Okay, still not good. Hmm. Let's not submit that number again. Um, nine seven nine. Okay. Mm um. Let me let me just print. Uh, log dot info dot interface. Uh, I, I just want the example. Um, wait, what? Um, where's my part two test case? Is this it? No, why is it running the actual? Uh, darn it. Okay, hold on. Who is logging this? These are all of the. Why is it continuing? And where did... Yeah, why is it not running the test cases? Oh, am I just stupid? Oh my gosh, yes, I'm, I'm literally just stupid. I forgot to save it. Ugh, okay, well, that was unfortunate. All right, so it's just straight up wrong. Four, two, Eight six. So what does it give? What does this give? Gives two. 
one. Okay, so it does four two. That makes okay. This this is not good. <laughs> That's not what it's supposed to be. Oh, uh, it's because I'm just really bad at this. Okay, um, still not great. No, we want min there, max here. Now it's two. Uh, what? Okay, so start is six, end is four. Oh, it should be returning zero. Which it is, okay, good. And then here, Start is six, end is four. Why are, oh, okay, we're just calling it again, right? Okay, this is fine. Um, and then four, three, zero. This one should have an intersection though, right? Three, two, that has no intersection. Okay, the next one does. This one is where things are off the rails. Seven, seven. Oh, probably just this. Yeah, yeah, okay. And then eight, eight, six. There we go. All right, that was that was that was horrible. Whoo! Thank you for the raid, Joshua. Yeah, so I just like, ah, uh, yeah, that was, that was unfortunate. <laughs> Honestly, the, the thing that killed me on part two was the fact that I, I just like used the wrong test, or didn't save my test case. Uh, okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to commit this. Twenty oh four solve day solve just solve. So let's see how we did. I assume pretty badly. Um, this was not that bad of a day. Uh, let's see. Okay, I got fourth place. I, I'm pretty happy with that, honestly. All, all three of these are people using Python. Um, and I wasn't that far off. Let's not talk about this delta time. That was that was atrocious. Thirteenth. I let everybody, including including Jaden, pass me. Uh, oh well, that's fine. Um, definitely a better showing than than last. Uh, oh, okay. Kelly is using. He just texted me. He's using Kotlin now. Right. Switching midway. Okay, so uh, what went wrong? The biggest thing that went wrong was, well, just not saving my test case. So I didn't know that my answer was wrong. <laughs> and then I failed on the intersection intersection cardinality thing. I forgot the like cardinality you have to do plus one. That was unfortunate. Okay, so let's clean this up. I actually thought that this was a pretty elegant solution overall. 
Um, let's like name these correctly, I guess. I mean, using functions is like not how you're supposed to do competitive programming, but like I'm kind of stupid and can't figure it out, so it's probably a good idea. <laughs> um, section, yeah, section assignment, other section, enter. Hard malady. Cardin Cardinal. Uh, let's just keep it with that. That was pretty decent. Uh, okay, so start and end. Um, pairs, and then this is just going to be pair. All right. So. Input parsing. All ints saved me. Definitely good. Um, uh, I guess I should rename this to section one, and then this is um, section two. So, yeah, I'm reading this into a struct like multiple sections here. And then uh, let's see. Yeah, each section represents just the, the the corresponding section. So 8 to 13, 10 to 65. And then I am for part one, the challenge is like, what is it? Is there overlap, right? Like at all? Or wait, no. No, how many how many fully contain the other? So I am just doing this section one that contains I made this contains function which just checks if the bounds of the other other one are 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 inside the bounds of uh, uh, the current one and if either one is the case then um, then it, it overlaps um, let's pull this in to my test that is correct value Oops. All right, the second part, the challenge is um, determine how many have any overlap. So like even cases like this count and this. And uh, for that, it it's like not that difficult if you don't do it wrong, which I, I'm very good at not doing it right um have a good one joshua thanks for coming by thanks for the raid again um yeah so so the way that you're supposed to do this right you need to look at your two segments and then uh basically whichever segment started so here's the start right and here's the start of this one you figure out which one started last, and then that becomes your start that you have to want to compare against, and then figure out which one ended first. And then you look at, you compare the two, if it's, if it's, if there's a, a gap or they're equal between them, then you just return that cardinality, like how, how far, how many numbers there were between them, including the number itself. That's the plus one. Otherwise you return zero, because if, if they're not overlapping, what you end up with is that the one that starts first is way over over here, but the other one ends la uh, the the one that or sorry the one that starts last is here the ones that ends last is here so it's like negative or no the the end is is um, before the start so then you just return zero. Um, whoops. See, this was one of, I mean, I, w I don't know if I would have had this problem in Python, but like, the, the, I wouldn't have because it would have been self. But the, the like, I, I tried to redefine S again. It didn't work. It was really nice that it, you know, didn't blow up on me. It would have last year. Um, is there anything else to clean up here? 
trying to think if there's a better way of like doing this. I forgot to disable Copilot at the beginning, so like it filled in this like for me. <laughs> I was like, uh, okay. a little bit of a cheat, but I, I heard some people are actually using GPT-3 or whatever for getting first place in the whole competition, which I, I don't know, that just doesn't seem very much fun to me, but uh, whatever. All right. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do now is... think about whether I want to add any of this to my uh, utilities. And I, I don't know, I, I think this is pretty easy to rewrite. I mean, I'll screw it up again, but whatever. Okay. All right, so cleanup done. Uh, oh, more cleanup. These two can go. Those are just there to make sure that like my, um, IDE or like like language client knows about those libraries. Okay, how did I actually do? Okay, so sub sub one thousand for the first time to this this year. That was that was good for part one. I did see that while I was solving. Um, saw that I got a number. That's good. Um, this this is a catastrophic rank collapse though on part two, so <laughs> not ideal. Let's try not to do that again. Um, so now we're at eight stars and update that. So what I'm gonna do as well today is is go ahead and edit my blog post. Um, while, while I do this, cause, um, I, I think I'm going to stop recording though. Yeah. Let's go ahead and stop recording. If you're on YouTube, thanks for watching. I will see you tomorrow on Twitch at 10 o'clock mountain standard time for day five.